Yo, 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 people. What is good in the hood? Another gameplay. I think I'm just either gonna do the same build I did last game, or I'm gonna cook something else. I think last game's build got cucked so hard by the fact that I didn't have coop. That I kind of just wanna redo it, guys. I wanna run it back to back. This game is even harder than last game for ADU, yeah? dear. Because they have basically a full utility team comp, but lately I've been kind of like chilling. Even when I'm up against like very high utility team comps, it seems to be kind of working out for me. Oh no dear, with the builds we are building, and yeah. So, what is the setup? So first of all, we have completely standard runes. These are like, if you just want to play AD Udyr, you could have these runes every game. PTA, Triumph, Alacrity, Coop, Magical Approach, Double AD, Scaling Health. Blue pet and the cook we are gonna have here is we're gonna put three points into E in early game. Three points because maxing your Q actually doesn't do that much in the early game. You get like two percent max HP damage, some attack speed, some on hit, which is nice, right? But your scalings don't change. So if you put points into your R, your clear actually becomes much faster, in my opinion. I have done three, maybe two points is enough, I'm not sure. But from what I've seen, my Q damage wasn't even, like, bad. Even with this type of maxing out, and then after that he just makes your Q as per usual. Q and then E, like, then he just basically makes, like, normal. And we're gonna try to set up with Chojin and Titanic Hydra again. And yeah, this should kill, I think. Yes sir, yes sir. Put it in R. Try to get like the max duration on your R that you can. Helps a lot with clearing and walking away is also like OP strategy, guys. I have no idea where um, Lilia started. We'll have to see about that, guys. They don't have exhaust right now. Just double care for a little. Little Nas X. I'm gonna get bucked here too, I think. No, okay. I thought LeBlanc was gonna move here. It's okay, I'm just gonna get the... The double crab. I know that she still has her crump up or something. That was a fat finger. Wow. Well. well, you might as well just go back at this point. That was an absolute smoke fest. They should spawn. Right, she probably started chickens. I'm not sure. Gonna get this, gonna get that. Now we put two points into my R, and then we max Q. Then we get Shojin for clear speeds, and of course other purposes, and then... After that we will see. We might need Sterox Gauge this game, they have like so much burst again. Blood mail just ain't gonna cut it. Nah, I guess she actually started on a red buff then. And guys, it looks troll, but it's actually kind of legit. 
your clear speed is gonna go up by so much. Anyway, I can do something here. No, I think I'm spotted now. Yeah, I'm spotted for sure. Melius here too. He blew all his spells basically, so. Don't wanna stand on the edge. This is suspicious, bro. Maybe it isn't. Why did I see LeBlanc here, by the way? Like, in my head, I saw LeBlanc here, I swear to God. Must be the booming. Must be the age. That was a fat oopsie. That wasn't even that thing, you know, when you just spam your Q. There was more of that. She's probably doing that, but I mean, pick your poison, guys. I think in our team comp and in their team comp, grubs are gonna be less important. I don't think it's gonna be a very heavy pushing type game. Like, they don't have, like, a split push or something like this. We don't really have a split push other than me. The reason why I didn't do my uh, Crux there is because I'm unsure if she's doing my blue buff. Um, horrible timing to take a fight. Oh my god, he loses so much. There was like F tier timing to take a fight. I mean, it was very close, mind you, but I guess something like this just comes with champion mastery, right? Like knowing that you probably don't have like a very good chance to get a kill here. And it's probably not worth to even take the fight. Really, it's gonna be in her top side here. She's uber fat, of course, but that's just like sometimes how this really is like. Probably the only champion in the game that's like actually level 4 locked. I mean, Shivana is, I guess, but like... They're, like it, it's not like that horrible on Udia, honestly, like... Because we do have our slow. There's like champions who just don't want to gank before uh, level 4, but Udia is almost like level 4 dependent in a sense, you know what I mean? Like, it's like... If you don't get to level 4, you're kind of screwing up. I, I just prefer this setup for the pure fact that I have, like, a lot more clear speed. Please don't do the same mistake again. You are going to do the same mistake, aren't you? If they walk into river, then probably Lilia is there. Yeah. That's sad. And now they're just desperate. They wanted to destroy it. Yeah. Okay, that's chilling. Man. Love nothing more than a fat LeBlanc. It's my favorite. Gonna lose my crap here, I think. He doesn't even check, that's sad. Okay, still here. They're just gonna both get killed. Yeah, that's my fault. Like, we just force every fight constantly. I forgot. I'm not dead here, I don't think. I mean, never mind, she just kills them with flash up. 
That's amazing. It's okay, we still get our item here, but it's just annoying, right? Like, I'm perma pinging them that somebody is bot side and they're just perma like taking fights while I'm like clearly saying I don't want to engage in this fight. And then they die, Lilia gets kills, and Lilia gets to like roam the map with her team. It's like so annoying. And there's like almost zero reason for them to take this fight in the first place. They're fighting like here when Lilia is here with ult up and flash too. But she didn't even have to blow anything on them to kill them. Neither did Milio because he still had exhaust. Up. So it's like crazy. We have to counter again top lane here. It's gonna get ganked. Doesn't have flash, doesn't have ult. Good. Gonna get the grubs here. Thank God that uh, Melio was solo. For this, Gary yeah, doesn't have ult. Why is he walking in a straight line bot? Then, like, how are we gonna contest this if he's just hovering CS bot? We just have to flip this, I think. We got the objective here, but I literally have to leave him. Like, what is our Galio doing? He's just fighting Jinx solo bot, man. It's okay, I mean, end of the day, goodbye Aurelian Sword to play for the objective there, but... Cringe by Galio not to walk through the jungle and trying to help. She's playing TP, I have to be a bit careful. It's a Heimerding I just left. Gonna push this towards spot. And there he is. In games like these, where you just have constant pressure on you, basically the best thing you can do is just not die a lot. Um, perhaps he's gonna die here, I think. Not accessible. It's okay though. I'm gonna go for. Man, I really wanna go back. Like, can't stretch that enough. I kind of want Swifties, but I kind of need Mercs. Type of situation. I think I'm just. How do I cook this here? Do I wait for the rube? Ah, oh, fuck, let's just go for the 80. 80, 80, 80. Okay, Caitlyn is still alive. I think I have to be more strict than just back when I think this is a bad play. She still had flash, guys. God damn.
use your abilities, bro, please. Oh my god. I think he is low key trolling. Do I might get out? Yeah, I do. It's gonna be a little hazard playing with this Galio. In my opinion, you die there as the support. I mean, you're literally one and four. You just throw yourself into the team. Right, like if I die there, I mean, technically, this is all my fault though. Like, if I'm a smarter player, I just don't go for these plays. I don't go for these plays where, like, I have to hope that my Galio is not gonna <laughs> just bounce on me, you know? Really, it doesn't have flash. Now, that's good to know. Guys, I love the setup, though. The clear speed is amazing. And again, you don't have a huge incentive to put points into your Q in the early game, in my opinion. I mean, it doesn't even really help you fight that much other than you getting the attack speed. It doesn't, like, even do that much for you. This is very risky, but... Okay, never mind. I am just gonna let it reset, actually. They have hella wards here. Yeah. Okay. Time to be dragon is coming up. Don't die, don't die. Dragon is spawning. I mean I'm once like I'm literally almost ten CS um a minute right now. Which is pretty impressive for AD audio. I'm willing to just flip this. Everybody's walking out of the pit. These guys. Nobody's in the pit, by the way, with me. We could have just killed it there because they walked away for a second. I don't have flash right now, so push comes to shove, I probably have to die for that. Okay, okay, I think I got it somehow. I'm just gonna try to bigger the bounce. Block it for me, bro, please. You're one and four. It doesn't matter if you die at this point. It's so annoying that this guy's playing for KDA. I would have lived then. I would have gotten another second of regen and then I would have walked out with my blue pet through bush. It's so bad that I died there because look at my jungle right now. Plus topside objective is up. I could have gotten all that if Galio died for me. So sad, man. Got the objective. That's kind of all that matters though in my books. Um... As long as I'm staying on top of objectives for my team, if I die, it's kind of horrible for me, in a sense, because I'm just, like, falling behind for kind of zero reason, honestly, but, uh, at the same time, it's still good because we did get the objective. So my team is still ahead, but I'm just, like... Falling slightly behind because of the shenanigans. Oh my god, bro, I'm getting so much C. The random ADC walking <laughs> up and taking your crap experience is amazing, guys. I love it. I think they don't understand that, like, right now I'm actually turbo strong. Like, I'm actually really, really fucking strong, but. When I die, it's literally because I want to take, like, an important... Like, I'm doing something because... Something does happen on them because I'm dying. 
You know what I mean? So, technically, my devs are like good, but my KDA looks bad. Very strong now. Great. She pressed ult. I'm gonna go top side here. Instantly, instead of just like uh, dicking around. I wish I could pink it, and I just want them to take this. Very bad the way you can, by the way. Completely unnecessary here. Just want to preserve my mana. They're all dead. For absolutely no reason. If they just went to my red buff, I would get this for free. We would get red buff and everything. Instead of doing what we are doing here. Hmm. I might go for an early force of nature here. I don't know. Combo. If I get on chains, it should be GG. Again, guys, splitting is really like the truth, man. It honestly is. You get so much from being on site then and just keeping your XP and um, gold up. Especially with this setup. I'm really, really in love with this setup, by the way. I'm not gonna lie. Now we are just taking the jungle. Come on, guys. It's okay. I'm just gonna go side then again. It doesn't even matter to me, honestly, at this point. I'm just gonna keep my CS up that way. Somebody go top frame, please. And we can, like, do the same thing again. I don't know why Acer has to be top bot side right now, but... That is what it is. I guess we have to share bot side then. Makes no re like we still have top side open too, Ryan. Can we just have somebody top lane, please? We don't even need like five people for the Drake in my opinion. We can literally just We can literally just play for the split because we've Nash. Okay, well it is what it is. We get the most powerful dragon in the game. I'm gonna go be here and go top. You know what? I'm actually gonna be a little bit greedy here and go blood mail instead of Xerox gauge. And then after blood mail, I'm gonna go DMP. I could have actually went DMP now. No, you know what? Fuck it. I'm not even gonna go DMP. I'm not even gonna go DMP. I'm literally just gonna go for force of nature. And then after that, I'm gonna go DMP maybe. Mobility is kind of important if you can't. Ever hit the enemy. Got Lilia ult. That's what Udi side then is so disgusting because like in theory you're extremely safe. Like extremely safe. Unless you blow your um, passive constantly. That's usually when you will die on site, then, in my opinion, as AD would you. It's gonna be another high objective damage game. Perfect. Bro, what? <laughs> I 
LCS is actually insane this game, by the way. We have 1.5 CS per minute. I'm just for fun clearing right now. Gonna get my blood me for the thumbnail, guys. Don't at me. Crazy blood me attack. No, but this game is literally just crazy, bro. You have like 11 CS per minute right now. <laughs> That's crazy, guys. I love the setup for AD, by the way. This is so goaded. This is so fucking goaded, man. Give it to the demon dog. So damage, of course, laughable, honestly, right? You can say I didn't hit champions this game, which would be quite correct. But this is the damage number I care about, man. Total damage to objectives means I basically was involved with every single objective in the game except for the first scrubs and i think harold we didn't get either that's like the the stat i care for anyways guys if you like this video if you like having 11 cs per minute in your next game then make sure to like and subscribe um join my new discord server if you want to stay updated with like when i upload or when i can't upload if i take a break etc etc the link is always in the description and uh other than that, see you guys on the next one. Peace.